सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू मेडिफिकेशन टूडे वी विल हैव क्विक रिविजन ऑन ई सी जी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड एज यू ऑल नो दिस अ टिपिकल फिगर शोइंग द आवर ई सी जी वेव सो लेट मार्क इट इट्स द पी वेव दिस इज द क्यू वेव दिस इज द आर वेव this is the s wave this is the t wave and this is the u wave so so let's see what does this waves depicts p wave which which shows our atrial depolarization qrs wave this wave showing our ventricular depolar uh, depolarization and t wave showing ventricular repolarization here it is to be marked that t wave shows the ventricular repolarization the qrs wave this wave shows the ventricular depolarization and from here in the point of t it shows the ventricular repolarization so okay next we come to the our u wave which shows the parkins repolarization and the pap our papillary muscle repolarization so the two significant points to be noted here now let us see the segments of ecg segments is nothing but these are the if we try to understand easily these are only the straight line in ecg which we refer to as the segments what is this segment this segment is the isoelectric point point and so what is isoelectric point we all know it it is a point where there is no current flow now coming to our segments this is our here the diagram is a bit messy but still uh this is our pr segment and another segment is our st segment which starts from the after the qrs is over our from the s point to our t wave this this segment is our st segment now first is our pr segment this is this is a segment which starts from the end of our p wave to the start of our qrs complex so end of p wave to the starting of our q r s complex now what does this pr pr segment denotes this denotes this is important this denotes our av nodal delay which is about near about 0.1 seconds and this is not because of any pathological or any kind of disease condition it is physiological only now we will come to our second segment which is the st segment st segment is a segment which is from our end of qrs complex to the beginning of our t wave now if we see our ecg figure i'm drawing a rough one so we know that qrs this wave 
denotes our ventricular depolarization and our T wave denotes ventricular repolarization so here our ST segments denotes the end of ventricular depolarization to the beginning of ventricular repolarization so this ST segment is our we also call it as our joining point or J point whatever we may denote it as and so what the pathological significance is that we know that in our segments this is actually our isoelectric point so there is no current flow but due to some pathological conditions if there is current flow through this J point then generally this is known as our injury current and generally this current is found in myocardial infarction or our MI so now we will start an important topic which is ECG interval we have generally three intervals which is the PR interval RR interval and our QT in interval so what is actually intervals intervals is nothing but wave plus the segment which is our interval So now we will start with our first interval which is our PR interval. As I told wave is nothing but interval is nothing but just the wave and the segments. So here in our the PR interval we will have our P wave and our PR segment. So our P wave denotes the atrial depolarization and our PR segment as we discussed earlier shows our AV nodal delay I am not going into details because this ECG intervals is a huge topic if 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 you guys want to want me to discuss in the next video please let me know in the comment section but as this is a revision video I am not going into details so uh, just uh, for quick revision it is we have to note that the P normal PR interval is of 0 0.12 seconds to 0 0.20 seconds and generally if PR interval is greater than 20.20 seconds then 20 seconds then it denotes our conduction block so okay then we will be moving to our next interval which is our RR interval this is the interval which helps to calculate our heart rate so how can we calculate our heart rate by using the RR interval is that we have there is a constant number figure which is 1500 and we have to divide it by the 
number of small boxes between two r waves which is our rr interval so this is the importance of our rr interval now coming to our third interval which is the qt interval this is very very important i would say please note it down because qt interval is the interval which is our qrs complex to the end of our t wave so this the segment like the point which is before qrs complex denotes our ventricular depolarization and our t wave depicts our ventricular repolarization this qt interval is the total ventricular activity because of obvious reasons because qrs depicts ventricular depolarization and our t wave denotes the ventricular depolarization so in total the qt interval shows the total ventricular activity normally our qt interval is 0.40 seconds this color is very light thank you 40 second 0.40 second and oh the qt interval changes according to the heart rate so it is of a more of a variable kind because qt interval is dependent on the heart rate 